Buenos dias muchachos. Today's video is a quick unboxing and first-hand look on the U-Grip. All right, so the reason I got the U-Grip is because I needed something a little bit more stable um, than handheld, especially when I'm getting a low shot. I mean, I could take my tripod that I have on my camera right now and just hang it upside down and get those low shots. But with this, it's a nice U-Grip shape. And so you can hold it with one hand and kind of not like thunder grip it, but just like rest your fingers on it so that the weight of the whole camera is nice and steady and it won't like rock back and forth. And you can just, you know, do a nice ninja walk and walk with the camera. So let's get into this thing. Nothing inside, just some packaging. Uh, these smaller companies have the weirdest names ever. The U, Ulan, the Ulanzi, Ulanzi, the Ulanzi U grip is the original professional grade stabilizing action grip. Allows you to hold your camera down low when filming skiing, snowboarding, skateboarding, auto racing, blah, 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 blah. Besides just facilitating a novel filming perspective, the U grip will steady your shot as well. It can be used with most SLR cameras and camcorders. Um, it's got maximum height, weight, features, blah, 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 or your smartphone and your GoPro. A quarter 20 screw is on the bracket, adjustable to better accommodate cameras of different configurations. Yeah, I'm excited. Ready? So this is the U-Grip. Now we're going to switch cameras to my phone so that I can take that camera, put it on here and show you how this is going to look with the whole setup. Okay, so here's a quick tour of the entire unit. The reason I like this one is because it's got these nice feet on the bottom, as well as uh, cold shoe mounts all across the top so that you can mount all the accessories that you want, as well as the quarter 20 thread. You screw that into the bottom of the camera. But the thing I like about this unit is that it's also got a quarter 20 on the bottom so that you can mount this to the tripod, take it off whenever necessary, and then grab run and gun style with it. All right, so we're on the phone right now. I'm using my uh, AirPod as audio. What we're gonna do is mount this bad boy to the camera. We're gonna see how easy this is without instructions. So the main thing here is trying to get your camera balanced so that you have a nice steady access point. Actually, that was really good on my first try. Um, you want to, if you have a big lens, you want it a little bit further back. So you got a nice center of gravity so that when you're holding it, it's not just tilting this way or tilting this way. Um, yeah, I think that's really, really nice. So just mount it onto the bottom. Make sure that that's nice and tight. Not too tight, you don't wanna break anything. But what you can also do is take your microphone and get it onto the hot shoe, or the cold shoe mount. So get it on there, screw it on, and that way, you know, you run the line into the camera And you got yourself actually a pretty decent rig. Um, this thing is super cheap for what it is. I mean, you're getting a nice, it's a plastic construction. The only metal I saw in it is, uh, the only metal I see in it is actually in these clips over here as well as the screw. Um, the cool thing about the bottom of this is you see how it's got different notches. So say your camera is, uh, more centered on like a, it's got a bigger battery. So it's heavier on the right side. You'd adjust accordingly with those notches right there. Um, mine's sitting pretty perfect right there. I'm wondering if maybe I take the screen out. Yeah, it's, you can see I'm going to balance it on one finger. It's pretty level and it's level front to back. 
So I know that I'm going to need to carry it right there, which is where I would anyway. So when you're trying to get those low shots, just pan like that. Good to go. You know, oh, this is going to be so nice, especially with product shots. I can grab it with both hands and just isolate my body and get those nice panning shots. Plus the lens here, well, most lenses for Canon are image stabilized, except the cheaper ones. Oh, I'm really liking this rig. Um, it looks a little bit awkward. I mean, so the problem is, especially if you're a first time like camera wielder, um, the problem that you're gonna have is you're gonna feel awkward carrying this big rig around and then people are gonna ask you, oh my God, are you filming something? Like, can I be in it or whatever? You know, they're just gonna constantly ask about it. So you get that sense of like vlogging in public, you know, you're gonna be embarrassed, you're gonna be shy, whatever. Just get over it, get the shot, get done, move on to the next thing. Um, the reason I got this is because I really want to give you a nice sense of the hotel that we're gonna stay. I wanna get the rooms. I definitely want to get, you know, the pools, the restaurants, the beaches, the cabanas, the bars, and kind of just get you a nice view of everything that I experienced so that you can experience it with me. Okay, so, so far pros and cons. The pros, price. Very, very cheap. Um, the usability and ease of it and functionality, like this is exactly what I need it for. So kudos to the design of this. Um, I didn't know whether to get the top mount or whatever, but this is ab absolutely perfect. Um, I'll let you know how it goes when I'm in Mexico and give like a post review afterwards. But as far as I can tell, this thing's gonna be spot on for what I need. Um, one of the cons I see is it's construction. It's made out of a hard plastic. So, I mean, as long as I'm not super, super rough with it, it should be fine. But say I'm filming something and I'm staring at the screen and I trip over something and I land on it, it's gonna hit right here. And I'm afraid that this handle is gonna push forward and snap. So number one goal, don't fall while filming. <laughs> be aware of your surroundings. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. Um, I'll be using it in Mexico, so you can see the footage in uh, like a week or so. I'm excited about that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's linked below if you want to check it out, and I will see you tomorrow. Later.